Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the vanishing gold. Returning from their last adventure, Clutch and company stop off in a mountain hideaway to write another chapter in Clutch's adventure logbook. It is early morning when Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot start for their plane to begin their trip home. It'll sure feel good to sleep in our own beds for a change, Spinner. And how, Clutch? We sure travel a lot of miles. Trouble always seems to find us, Spinner, but not this time. We're too far away from it. No sooner does Clutch say it when... Wait, Clutch. I'm sure I heard a moan. I think you're just jumpy, Spinner. We're the only ones near here. Maybe I spoke too soon. Paddlefoot sounds as though he's found something. There. Hear that? You're right, Spinner. I heard that moaning, too. Come on. Clutch and Spinner move farther along the wooded path until Paddlefoot comes in. He's found something, all right. And look, it's an elderly man. By golly, it's Nugget Jones. Gosh, Clutch, look at that lump on his head. Take it easy, Nugget. You're going to be all right. Why, why, Clutch Cargo, you're sure a sight for these tired old eyes. Glad to see you after all these years. What happened? Did someone hit you? Heck no, it's my numbskull donkey, Myrtle. Every time we leave the mine, she thinks we're headed home. It's going too fast, runs under a tree, and pow, knocks me off. Why are you so far from the mine? Closed up the old mine. Found a new vein of gold about a mile and a half from here. Richest strike any place around. Been digging it for three years. I struck gold just two weeks ago, but I ain't taken two cents worth of gold out yet. Well, if it's so rich, how come you haven't taken the gold out? Oh, I've been taking gold out of the ground, but when I fill my rail car, I'm so tired. I lock up the mine and go home. When I get back in the morning, half the gold is gone. Just half of it's gone? Just half gone. Disappears in thin air. Funny why only half of the gold ore would disappear. Clutch, would you help me find out where it's going? I can't stand this much longer. We'll do all we can, Nugget. Won't we, Spinner? You bet, Clutch. <coughs> Paddlefoot wants to help, too. Uh, Golly, Mr. Nugget, uh, what was that? That's what that uh, was, Spinner. Uh, Myrtle, that lop eared uh, ding busted uh, donkey. Come over uh, here, you hold uh, out. We've got work to uh, do. Nugget, you said you locked the mine when you were through work. Is that the only entrance? Uh, that's the only way in or out, Clutch. Leastwise, the only way I know. The walls are solid rock. From the size of that lock, I don't see how anyone could get in. Let's look around. Have you told anyone about your mind, Nugget? Shucks, no, Clutch. Nobody near here for miles except murder, and I know she ain't talking. Didn't you have a partner once? Yes, I did. Gadget tricks. Always inventing gadgets that run by magnets. Invented a magnet so strong, pulled the villains right out of his teeth. I guess he was mad at me because he left and I haven't seen him since. Golly, Clutch, look at that gold. Wow, more here than in Fort Knox. Here's the car I've filled every day for two weeks. Come on in here, Clutch. We'll start from this end and work out. Clutch and Nugget leave, and no sooner do they get inside the tunnel when the heavy gold car with spinner and tunnel put inside starts to roll and pick up speed. Help, Clutch! get out unhurt. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the vanishing gold. You remember last time, Clutch and company found Nugget Jones lying injured. Half of Nugget's gold has been disappearing. Arriving at the mine, a heavy rail car carrying Spinner and Paddlefoot suddenly starts to roll. Don't try to get out, Spinner. Just grab my hands as the car goes under me. Steady, Spinner. Don't miss now. Grab my hands. Now! Watch it, Spinner. I'll help you down, boy. A nice piece of life-saving clutch. Listen. Come 
Boy, I'm, I'm glad you got me out of that clutch. So am I, Spinner. But from now on, please stay close. Clutch, Spinner, and Nugget walk along the mine tunnel, carefully looking for another possible opening, but no luck. I can't see anything that could be another opening. What does the outside of this hill look like? Just like any other hill, I reckon. Nevertheless, I'd like to take a look. Come on, Spinner. Nugget, how about cooking some of your good grub? I'm a little hungry. Okay, Clutch, flapjacks and salt pork, and I can sure make them tasty. Sounds terrific, Nugget. We won't be long. Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot start around the hill. These trees are pretty thick, Spinner. Guess maybe we'd better mark them so we'll find our way back. I'd sure hate to get lost in this forest, Clutch. I'll mark the trail like we do in the Boy Scouts. Fine, Spinner. Then we can follow those. Clutch and company continue their walk around the hill with Spinner making trail marks every so often. But wait, what's this? Someone's trying to make them lose their way. Look, he turned the marker to the right. And Nugget said there was no one around for miles. If we could only warn Clutch. Haven't seen a thing, Spinner. Those trees are pretty thickly planted. Let's turn back, get the plane, and fly over. Maybe we can see more. I'm sure glad we marked our trail. Come on, Paddlefoot. There's one of my markers, Clutch. Follow me. Spinner has a great time following his trail markers, but as they approach the next one... Here's another one, Clutch. Turn right. Follow me. You're a good woodsman, Spinner. But somehow this clearing doesn't look familiar at all. Well, maybe that's because I was watching you when we passed it before. Better hurry along. I'm starved. And at this moment, the same man who moved the trail marker crouches behind a huge log, ready to push it on Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot. Spinner, look out! We're goners! Can they avoid being crushed by that log? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the vanishing gold. You remember last time, Clutch and company used trail markers to find their way back to the mine. Someone turned a marker, sending them the wrong way. Moments later, a huge man sent a giant log crashing down on them. Holy Clutch! I am under that log, everybody. I didn't miss this by much. It was aimed too straight to have fallen by itself. Someone pushed it. I don't see a sign of anybody, and I still say this clearing doesn't look familiar to me. Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot start back over the trail, retracing their footsteps to the last trail marker. This trail marker was turned to make us pass that clearing. Look, footprints. I should have seen them before. Must have been made by a big man. Look at the size of them. Golly, they're three times as long as mine. Captain yeah, Skip will be back to the mine, Spinner. Keep your eyes open. here, Clutch. Yes, it does. Hmm, the food's all cooked, but where's Nugget? I don't know, Clutch, but there's oh. Myrtle. Oh. 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 There's Nugget's hat. Come on, Spinner. <laughs> Paddlefoot found him. Nugget, don't tell me. Yes, gold, darn it, Myrtle. That bug-eyed, horse-faced mule just started to the quick to get water. She got running too fast. Run under that low branch and pow! Knock me right off again. Well, I guess you feel better now. 
Let's eat. After their lunch, Clutch tells Nugget about their close call and what they plan to do. Sounds like some ordinary critter tried to get you. But who? Ain't nobody else around. Don't be too sure. Plenty of places to hide here. Anyway, let's take the plane up and have a good look. Minutes later, Clutch, Spinner, and Nugget, with Paddlefoot and Myrtle aboard, take off in the plane to do their scouting from the air. Make sure all safety belts are tight. Usually bumpy near the mountain. They're all fine, Clutch. I checked them. Thanks, Spinner. Watch closely for anything out of the ordinary down there on the ground. Clutch flies high above the trees for several minutes, back and forth and around the hill, all eyes watching carefully. Well, we've looked it over pretty good from a high altitude. Now, let's get lower, do some hedge hopping. paper sacks filled with flour. Throw it toward the tracks. The bag will break when it hits, and the white flour will mark the spot. They come around. There. Take aim. Fire! Oh. Now, let's get back. It feels right there. Hey, that's funny. I can't pull the plane up. Must be a strong downdraft. The plane won't climb. Hold on! Stop the plane from crashing. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the vanishing gold. You remember last time, Clutch and Company with Nugget and his donkey Myrtle had taken off in a plane to do some scouting from the air. On their way back to the field. What happened? Hey, look at this baby climb. Must have hit an updraft. Shot up just like a heavy anchor had been cut loose. Boy, how lucky can we be? My first time in an airy plane and my last. I'm stuck to you, Myrtle. That was a rough one, all right, but we're okay now. We're coming in. Right at the edge of the runway, practically hidden by trees, stands the same huge figure who changed the direction of the trail marker and started the log rolling. Who can he be? I'm too weak to walk, Clutch. I'll go on ahead to the mine. Get up, Myrtle, dear. <laughs> what a change came over him. <laughs> but it is nice to be down here again. Yes, Finner. Sometimes it takes a little danger like that to make us appreciate the nice things we have. Well, let's get on the move, Spinner. We've got lots to do. Clutch and company hurry toward the mine. Uh-oh. Go easy, Spinner. Paddlefoot's found something. Oh, no. It's me again, Spinner. That Google-eyed, long-eared, short-nosed, horse-faced donkey. Uh, she was so happy uh, to get out of that airy plane uh, and get back to the uh, mine. She got to uh, running too fast, uh, run under a low branch, and pow, knocked me off again. Enough of these bumps give a man a headache. Well, Nugget, we'll get you back to the mine. Then Spinner and I'll go find where the flower bag landed. Clutch and company start out again around the hill, looking for the spot where the flower sack first. Before long... There it is, Spinner. That's the spot. Now, right here somewhere, we'll find those tire tracks. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> Paddlefoot's disguise. <laughs> he snipped that flower as he walked through it. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly looks funny, doesn't he? <laughs> but say, we've got to find those tire tracks. They should be right here. Here they are, Clutch. And they're going toward the hill. They go to the hill spinner and then stop. Hmm. Looks as though they go right under this. But how can they, Clutch? I don't know. This rock is solid, all right. It weighs tons. No man could move it. 
Come on, let's get back to the mine. I want to count our steps on the way back. Back to the mine go Clutch and Company, counting each step as they walk. 5,001, 5,002. There, 5,002 steps. Now, let's go inside. Clutch paces off 5,002 steps, which take him almost to the back wall of the tunnel. But what's this all about? Unless I miss my guess, someone has dug a tunnel from the side of the hill to meet your tunnel about here. But that's solid rock. How can they get my gold out? That's what we're going to find out, Nugget. Do you have a map of this hill? Right here. Here's the entrance. You go along this tunnel to the underground room. Then the tunnel goes on to where we are. Three years of digging. Looks like you took the long way. I think someone tunneled right across here. That map looks like a tooth. It sure does, and I dug an awful big cavity. Can't worry now. I see you got your car back on the track and loaded again. Sure did, with the help of Myrtle. And here's a piece of my gold ore. It's... Oh. Help, Clutch! Help! Something's got me! Who or what could have gotten nuggets? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the vanishing gold. You remember last time, Clutch and company discovered truck tracks that disappeared under solid rock. Inside the mine, as Nugget was holding gold ore for Clutch to see... What happened? Dirt if I know, Clutch. I was standing there and all of a sudden I wasn't. Something's holding me up here. Just as I thought, there's something behind that wall. Look, these tracks run right under it. We'll fix this guy. We'll trick him with his own tracks. I'll turn the switch. That does it. Now, we'll take the car up to the entrance. We need a long run. That's a big load, but I guess Myrtle can pull it. I don't know, Mr. Nugget. Myrtle doesn't look like she wants to work at all. Oh, she'll help, won't you, Myrtle, dear? <laughs> She's got a mind of her own. But we've got to get started. Hitch her on, Nugget. Oh, come on, Myrtle. We'll uh, help you. <laughs> That's just uh, like a seesaw. <laughs> Not much further. Phew! I didn't know gold could be so heavy. There. Block the wheel, Nugget, and we'll unhitch Myrtle. Now I'll kick this block away from the wheel. The heavy car starts to roll. Faster and faster it goes toward the solid rock wall. <laughs> Come on, let's see what happens. You were right, Clutch. There's the other tunnel. Somebody's been here. Looks like a radio station with all them dials. Somebody's still here, Nugget. Look. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. It's Gadget Craig. He's all right, just a little groggy. Yes, I'm all right. You never would have found me, Nugget Jones, if you hadn't had help. I got here about three weeks ago and set up my magnets. And I set it up and got it working while you were sleeping. So it was you who stole half my gold. What do you mean, stole? We was partners. Half of it belongs to me. When I got locked jaw, I couldn't talk. Well, when you didn't talk, I thought you was mad at me. But Nugget, I left you a note telling you I couldn't talk. How'd I know? I can't read. Looks to me like it's been a misunderstanding all along. But I don't like the way you tried to get us with that log. I didn't mean to hurt you. Just tried to scare you away. I thought you were out to get Nugget. And while I was testing my biggest magnet, I got on the wrong switch and almost pulled your airplane right out of the sky. So that was it. Well, I suppose that rock we just broke through is a sliding door run by magnets. Right. And with the magnet, I pulled the car down here, unloaded half the gold, then put the car right back where it was. Well, I'm sure Nugget understands, and I know he'll share the gold with you. And I'll share my magnets with him. Then Myrtle won't have to work. Shake hands, you two. <laughs> Look, Myrtle's so happy she's going wild. Hey, Myrtle, wait for me. 
When I got out here, there she was. Got so excited about not having to work, ran too fast, ran right under a low branch, and pow, knocked her right down. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the Vanishing Gold. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Fletch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot. Fletch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the vanishing gold. Returning from their last adventure, Clutch and company stop off in a mountain hideaway to write another chapter in Clutch's adventure logbook. It is early morning when Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot start for their plane to begin their trip home. It will sure feel good to sleep in our own beds for a change, Spinner. And how, Clutch? We sure traveled a lot of miles. Trouble always seems to find us, Spinner, but not this time. We're too far away from it. No sooner does Clutch say it when... Wait, Clutch. I'm sure I heard a moan. I think you're just jumpy, Spinner. We're the only ones near here. Maybe I spoke too soon. Paddlefoot sounds as though he's found something. There. Hear that? You're right, Spinner. I heard that moaning, too. Come on. Clutch and Spinner move farther along the wooded path until Paddlefoot... Just half of it's gone? Just half gone, disappears in thin air. Funny why only half of the gold ore would disappear. Clutch, would you help me find out where it's going? I can't stand this much longer. We'll do all we can, Nugget. Won't we, Spinner? You bet, Clutch. <coughs> Paddlefoot wants to help, too. Uh, Golly, Mr. Nugget, uh, what was that? That's what that uh, was, Spinner. Uh, Myrtle, that lop-eared, uh, ding-busted uh, donkey. Come over here, you hold out. We've got work to come into. He's found something, all right. And look, it's an elderly man. Mm. By golly, it's Nugget Jones. Gosh, Clutch, look at that lump on his head. Take it easy, Nugget. You're going to be all right. Why, why, Clutch Cargo, you're sure a sight for these tired old eyes. Glad to see you after all these years. What happened? Did someone hit you? Heck no, it's my numbskull donkey, Myrtle. Every time we leave the mine, she thinks we're headed home. Gets going too fast, runs under a tree, and pow, knocks me off. Why are you so far from the mine? Closed up the old mine. Found a new vein of gold about a mile and a half from here. Richest strike any place around. Been digging it for three years. I struck gold just two weeks ago, but I ain't taken two cents worth of gold out yet. Well, if it's so rich, how come you haven't taken the gold out? Oh, I've been taking gold out of the ground, but when I fill my rail car, I'm so tired. I lock up the mine and go home. When I get back in the morning, half the gold is gone. 